What's up guys, welcome back to HMHT. My name is Ben, your host here at Huffman of Tech. So when it comes to iOS 15, I have some exciting news for you as we've just received the final beta also known as the release candidate or the gm version and for me on my iphone x that i'm updating you can see that the update size came in at exactly 4.67 gigs and i was updating from ios 15 beta 8 that is the update size and this is my device that i've already updated and if we go into the settings and go to general and go to the about you can see the software version that we have here that it's 19a344 if we go to the modern firmware version you can see that it hasn't been updated since beta 8 it's still 5.00.00 this is not all that apple released today let me show you uh, if we go to the apple developer website you can see that today they released ios 15 rc ipad os 15 rc tv os 15 rc as well as watchOS 8 RC. So I've already done a video on watchOS 8 RC and feel free to check it out on the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe as I cover most of these updates on the channel. So these are some of the releases. And when it comes to applications, as Apple also released Xcode 13 release candidate. That is something that's good. And also while we're still in Safari, I would like to show you when you can tell when iOS 15 is going to be available. So if you go to this website, beta.apple.com and go to where it says iOS 15, you'll be able to see that iOS 15 is going to be available on the 20th of September 2021. So next week, Monday, that is when we are going to be getting iOS 15 officially. So get ready and get your devices ready for the newest and most revolutionized iOS 15 update for this year. Now, when it comes to the release candidate, new features and changes, I would like to show you some. And first of all, let's begin with the Apple Watch app. So on your iPhone, if you open the Apple Watch app and go to face gallery, you will see that they've added this world time uh, watch face. And in case you want to see how it looks, this is how it looks. So, oh, rather this is a workout that i'm doing i should probably end it but this is how the world time watch face has and it basically has about 24 time zones and those correspond to different cities you can see paris you can see alaska denver new york you can see dhaka you can see dubai and so on and you can see that the time begins at midnight and then sort of comes backwards and it will tell you which region uh, starts in the night time and which one starts during the daytime so that is the new world watch face which came with ios 15 alongside watch os 8 release candidate now also something else that i would like to show you if you search for the apple watch or rather if you search for watch you can see that this Apple Watch application has been made larger. And if you go to Twitter, you'll be able to see that Steve Moser said that iOS 15 RC confirms Apple Watch Series 7 screen sizes and resolution as well. And you can see that the code in iOS 15 RC mentions 41 millimeter and 45 millimeter. So shout out to Steve Moser over on Twitter. And you can see that the icon has been made larger. It's not by much before it used to be uh, 40 and 44 but now it's 41 for the smaller apple watch and 45 for the uh, bigger apple watch series 7 that has been released so that is something that's new also something that has been implemented into safety when it comes to fall detection has to do with workout so this workout that i was doing it was actually outdoor cycling so you can see it's outdoor cycling and what apple showed us at the release note today is that if you are doing an outdoor cycling activity or workout and you fall your watch will be able to give you an option to call emergency services or it will give you an option to say that you are okay and it was just a minor inconvenience so that is also something that's new with this update also i would like to show you the wallet app because with ios 15 apple has actually updated this 
to support various driver licenses, um, medical health care cards, and for the United States, soon you'll be able to add your driver's license. It's going to begin in partial regions and then it's going to spread out through different uh, international regions but for now it's mentioned in the code but is not fully supported so that is the wallet app and the feature that could be coming when this update comes out on monday and the last thing that i would like to show you is when you open the app store you can see that we have a new splash screen here and it says what's new and it says you can get an app store widget and safari extensions in ios so if you go into your settings and go to safari you'll be able to see those safari extensions in ios that you can add which have been added with the release candidate of ios 15. now other than that that's how this update came in terms of bugs and issues there's people that are having issues when it comes to airplay and handoff so that could be an issue but so far when it comes to wireless connectivity like my wi-fi my cell or my bluetooth so far on my device my iphone x no issues at all at this present moment if i do find something i'll let you know on twitter other than that this update is coming out on monday the 20th of september get your devices ready and thank you very much for watching and if you like this video a sub to the channel would be great stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace